The regular season is done. It's finals time for the NPL. I'm Tony Salerno. It's a warm welcome from Ridley's Football Stadium as Blacktown City hosts Rockdale in the preliminary semi-final. Two teams in the regular season. Blacktown City finished second. Rockdale City in third. A lot to play for. A date with Arpia for the winner. And the loser will play Man United, who won the elimination semi-final yesterday. Big fight feel for this one. Of course, we have the custom formalities going through. Blacktown City, the home side. The traditional black strip with the white numbering. Rockdale, the visitors, in the traditional white. We're underway here at Lily's Football Stadium. In 90 minutes, we'll get a better look at the finals pitcher. And it's a nice run on the outset for Rocktail, but immediately Blacktown City take it. This is Gibbs playing back, runs into trouble, but Araujo does okay, wins his ball, and wins the first free kick of the afternoon. Grant Lynch playing up the line. That's a nice ball, well weighted. Cross comes in. And Connor Evans off the deflection, just over the right-hand side of the bar. It'll be a corner kick, the next best thing for Blacktown City. They'll play up the line to do that. Rosdanovsky, very involved early. He's very quick. Giorgio Speranza has a job to do this afternoon. Back for Prendergast. Casual, and in the goals! What a mistake! And what a start for the Rockdale City Suns! It is Grozdanowski, too casual for Prendergast, and he played the ultimate prize. Three minutes gone, Rockdale won, Blacktown City nil. Wow! Nice ball for Sorge. He's got room to move. Nice ball. One, two. Well played. Sorge puts the cross in. It's a shot from Grozdanovsky, but doesn't trouble Prendergast on that occasion. He watches it go past the post. Nice pass. Arugio gets past Reed. Has a shot from 25. And tap pass by Kovic. It was touched last by the goalkeeper. It's on for Connor Evans. He's going to use Andrew again. Plays him in onside. He's quick. Andrew cuts the ball back inside. And Connor Evans comes. But well shielded by Ante Kovic. Nice ball from Gaitatsis. He got in front. Sorge cuts it across. And deflected. Fig on. Puts it in the back of the net. That's two for Rockdale now. He's a goal scoring machine. And you can add one more to the list. Jordan Figon has put Rockdale 2-0 up after 21 minutes. McLenahan, better in contest with Connor Evans. It is McLenahan again. Nice long ball over the head of Lynch. And now off the chest, couldn't clear that one properly. Cuts back in, Figon for a second, and he's got it! Jordan Figon makes it three goals to nil. The star striker for Rockdale puts one more in the back of the net, and it's a long way back now for Blacktown City. move, switch of play, in no man's land, Arujo, Figon, can he get three, puts it past Prendergast, but puts it past goal as well, Connor Evans, Matt Lewis, the number sixes, one on one with each other, well done from Blacktown City, headed, Matt Lewis, and puts it past Kovic, finally they've got one back, on 42 minutes, Matt Lewis, nice enterprising play from Blacktown City, and he put it across Kovic. He couldn't do too much with that, and it is 3-1 after 42 minutes. Got the 
height advantage, but Connor Evans wins the contest. Of course he does. Through ball, James Andrew on side. They've come right back, Rockdale, into the box. Comes the maestro. Evans, one-on-one -on -one with Rusciuto. Right four tries to curl across off the post. And Connor Gala converts. Blacktown City have another one back. It is 3-2 after 58 minutes. And Connor Gaia puts it in the back of the net. Ante Kovic, it was a post that saved him the first time. It wasn't saved the second time. And Connor Gaia puts it in the back of the net. It is 58 minutes. Rockdale lead three goals to two. with the red sash. Here comes Arugio, beats his man, goes to the left, Andrew has space, one on one, and puts a pass, but curls away from goal. Ball flicked on, flag stayed down. Here comes Urasevsky into the box, looking to cut it back, decides to shoot. Gaitatsis, nice work by Lynch, just gets in the way. Blacktown's still alive. Shrugs off Connor Evans, puts it into the box. Fig on, not Fig on again, puts it over the top. That could have been game set and match. They're hanging on for a Fred. Lead away momentarily for Blacktown City. Great work from James Andrew. Put it on a platter for Araujo. Here comes James Andrew. One on one with McClanahan. Gets past him. Oh, off the crossbar. It won't count. Urasevsky will get another go at it. Through ball, Fig on onside. Plays it straight to Prendergast though. Urasevsky chips of the box. Blake Rusciuto and Zach Carcross concedes the penalty. A yellow card, two yellows, a red. See you later, Zach Carcross. These afternoons done. Pen to make it 4-2. Steps up. And goes bottom left corner, that's it! 4-2 Rockdale over Blacktown City after 82 minutes. The penalty successful and don't the visitors love it? Rockdale through Harris Gaitatsis make it four goals to two. 82-23 on the clock and that just may be enough. Over halfway now, looking to jag one more goal Blacktown City. One on one with Gaitatsis. And that was a free kick. He's conceded free kick. And that is full time here at Lily's Football Stadium. After 90 minutes in the preliminary semi final, it has finished Blacktown City 2, Rockdale City Suns 4. I mean, overall, you know, I thought we dominated the game, you know, for 90 minutes and, and not, to, not to get something out of the game. And obviously, get beat. The scoreline is not a reflection of the game at all. You know, uh, we're disappointed with the, the you know the early the error in the third minute to um, concede the goal, but um, really proud of what the boys are um, threw out there today. They, they worked really hard, and we um, I think you know at the end of the day the difference was, was uh, Ante Kovic once again. You know, he goals, his experience, and he's always there at the right right time at the right place. Oh, look, it's a good match, end to end. Um, really, it could have been anything. Uh, first half we could have been two 0 down after ten. It could have been four 0 up. Could have been three all at half time. Could have you know it was a uh, it was a really good game, I suppose, for the spectators. They would have really enjoyed it. But um, Blackdown put us under the pump in that second half. We probably sat a little bit too deep with their overloads wide. They were, they were getting a lot of ball. Um, you know, they were unfortunate not to uh, equalise it with the crossbar. So we put ourselves under a lot of pressure. But, um, you know, we did enough today. Coming away to Blackdown, it's, it's not an easy game. So proud that we got four goals and you know, we've got a chance for the grand final spot now. We've just started the finals race, and judging by today's effort, it's going to be a mouth-watering one.